My name is Barry Lane. I'm an author, a teacher, and songwriter. And um, I've been wearing this shirt for about 40 years when I go uh, to schools and, and to work with teachers. And I make them. I used to make them, actually. I haven't made one in a while. But it says All One People on it. And, and I thought, oh, I'd pick something that would maybe not go out of style and, and unfortunately this hasn't this message still seems like unique to people and, uh, and at different times in history people will think oh you're against the war <laughs> they'll look at the shirt or they'll, they'll think it's something political or not political but really what, what i'll say is have you talked to any astronauts lately <laughs> you know you know this is the view from the earth from the moon only 12 people have seen this many of them are gone now maybe all of them are gone now looking back at the earth and uh and i was once going up to give a speech and this woman said that's very sad and i said what do you mean oh, that very sad and i looked down and my lavalier mic had covered up one of the l's and instead of all one it said alone <laughs> and i realized those are the two places you could stand in life alone with your fear and anxiety or like this, put your arms out, all one, ah. And when I work with children, uh, I've been doing for the last five years something called Force Field for Good. And it's a program about teaching kindness through music and literature. And the point of the program is to understand kindness not as rules to follow or, or not being a bully or, or so forth, but rather as a way of creating um, uh, a whole sort of insurance policy around you of kindness. I have these two uh, discs here that my friend Michael Jolly makes. It's called Now by Sulo. And if I put it on, I call it the force field for good. Can you hear it? Kindness is this force field that surrounds us. When we're kind, we create this thing. Sometimes it's called civilization. When you're kind to someone else and oh, they're kind to you. And, and this force field for good is something that will follow you your whole life and bring a kind of connection and happiness. And, and so well, the whole point of force field for good is it's not about obeying or not obeying rules. It's about practicing kindness on a regular basis. And uh, so uh, one of the songs I do is called Know Your Higher Self. And uh, this is actually the first song I wrote and, uh, and I teach kids the sign language to go along with it because it's to know your higher self is to practice kindness regularly. And so here it goes. Know your higher self. Take it off the shelf. Give it room to play every single day. Forget about the fight. Reach for what is right. You can teach yourself to fly when you want to cry. And I teach that song to kids, and we do it together. And uh, if I do it now, I'll grab my guitar, and it goes like this. I was standing by the school door, waiting for the bell, when Roger pushed me over, so hard I fell. I wanted just to punch him, make him feel my hurt. But something deep inside of me sounded the alert. Know your higher self. Take it off the shelf. Give it room to play every single day. Forget about the fight. Reach for what is right. You can teach yourself to fly when you want to cry. One day in the lunchroom, some friends were laughing loud about the newest student and they formed a crowd I started laughing with him then I saw how sad he looked I turned to him said hello then picked up all his books know your higher self take it off the shelf give it room to play every single day forget about the fight reach for what is right you can teach yourself to fly when you want to cry. Sometimes I don't behave the best way that I can. Sometimes I'm afraid to lend a helping hand. But then a little voice comes from somewhere deep inside. And it tells me that the best in me doesn't have to hide. 
Know your higher self Take it off the shelf Give it room to play Every single day Forget about the fight Reach for what is right You can teach yourself to fly When you want to cry So it's very easy to say, know your higher self, but of course it's very difficult to do it, especially in situations where somebody is being mean to you or, you know, that whole situation where you, we are trying to turn your other cheek or you're trying to, you know, um, rise above a, a difficult situation, especially when you're a young kid and stuff. So one of the, 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 points of my kindness program is to help children to develop strategies to do that. One of them is called press pause. Everyone take your finger and press your pause button, which is your prefrontal cortex. And uh, so one of those songs, uh, go, that song goes like this. I'll just sing in the beginning. Your little brother teases you. Your sister makes a face. The kids at school were mean again. You did not win the race. You're getting kind of angry and you're getting kind of sad. How do you choose the good? When you want to be so bad, <laughs> press pause and remember you're all right. Press pause. Let your darkness fill with light. Press pause and the world becomes more kind. Use your heart and use your mind for there is no greater cause. Press pause. See, that song is about practicing, taking a deep breath, and the, and the middle part goes, breathe, breathe in, breathe out, help your mind, sort it out, don't scream, don't shout, breathe in, breathe out, press pause. That song is about mindfulness, learning how to hear your own thoughts so that you can create that distance and that's one of the tools you need to be able to know your higher self another tool uh, another one of my songs is about punching your pillows uh, it's called punch your pillow blues she gets up in the morning she goes downstairs it's when she hears her little brother saying that's not fair She's getting kind of angry, feeling kind of sad, but she doesn't lose her temper when she gets mad. She doesn't lose her temper when she gets mad. She goes up to her room instead of acting bad. She punches pillows, punch, punch, punch. She punches pillows, punch, punch. Punch, not armadillos. Punch, punch, punch. She punches pillows. Punch, punch, punch. She doesn't lose a temper when she gets mad. She goes up to her room instead of acting bad. She punches pillows. <laughs> so we take all these different strategies and that allows us to practice kindness. Instead of just obeying rules or not obeying rules or, or feeling like you're being a good person or a bad person, we're all good people and we're all bad people. We're all constantly trying to be better people, to know our higher self. And when we do that, we create a force field for good for not just ourselves, but for everybody around us. <laughs>